It's highly anticipated welterweight super fight showdown. After five years of debating who is the best welterweight boxer in the world, Errol Spence Jr. and Terence Crawford are excited to finally leave the talking behind as they set to take action in Saturday's first four belts undisputed title fight in 147 pound history. Of two of the best fighters walking on planet Earth right now. The unified champion Errol Spence has been competing in the welterweight division for nearly 11 years. I'm the better fighter, I'm better fighter, physically, mentally. He's been a world champion since 2017, and on July 29th, he will attempt to capitalize on his opportunity to become undisputed. Like I said, I'm gonna break him down, and I'm gonna break his wheel. Crawford is the favorite with many fans and the odds makers, but most of them are forgetting that he's fought low-level opposition his entire 15-year career, and he's very old at 36. I'm happy that the fight is here, but I'm not satisfied until my hand is raised July 29th. Crawford is coming off a six-round TKO win in December 2022 over David Avanesian to retain his WBC title. Spence more recently with a 10th round TKO stoppage over Ugas in April last year. Is one of the best boxers. This highly anticipated mega fight is a historic event that features two of the pound for pound best who must deal with the reality in regards to at the end of the night, somebody's O has got to go. People gonna talk about this fight 30, 40 years from now when they talk about legendary fights. <laughs>In the biggest fight in boxing since Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao squared off in 2015, following their own five-year soap opera build, Spence and Crawford expecting a return feeling of that nostalgic, big fight feel. Saturday night is a once-in-a-lifetime experience. All of it. Since Crawford moved up into the weight class and won the WBO crown back in 2018, the pair have been on a collision course. Some point at some point soon, we get to see these guys fight. Spence won his first belt, the IBF, back in 2017 and then insisted that he would claim the other two straps before taking on the legacy fight with Crawford. Me and Earl came together and made this mega fight. As a man of his word, Spence beat Sean Porter to claim the WBC in 2019 and in his last fight stopped Jordina Sugas to snatch the WBA. Prior to his move up to welterweight, Crawford previously won a world title at lightweight and unified all four belts as undisputed champion at super lightweight. I'm going to show each and every one of y'all why. This error is the Terrence Crawford error. However, while he has beaten several title holders, the biggest criticism of Crawford in his career has been a lack of true world-class opposition face. Terrence Crawford is the best fighter in the world. It's not his fault he can't get the other welterweights in the ring. He sought to rectify that last time out as he stopped Porter, becoming the first man to do so, after Spence had only beat him on points. I believe that Sean Porter was the best win of both of our career. While both fighters are established at welterweight, Spence is a natural 147 pounder who competed at 152 pounds in the Olympics while Crawford has also won titles at 135 and 140 pounds. Spence is more than just a sick and destroy guy. He can box, he can go catch you, he, he, he can do a lot of things. The Omaha, Nebraska, native is also a switch hitter, able to transition seamlessly from orthodox to southpaw. He might be the greatest switch hitter of all time. Crawford has stopped all seven of his welterweight opponents, including his most recent foe, David Avanesian, via spectacular sixth-round KO in December. Spence has a perfect boxing record. He is going to be nothing but fireworks from start to finish. He has won all 28 of his fights and finished 22 of those bouts inside the distance. He's, he's good at what he do. But when you compare him to Terrence Crawford, there's no comparison. Crawford also has a flawless record with 30 stoppage wins out of 39 fights. So, you know, what I mean, I'm more mature. Everything about Terrence Crawford is better than Errol Spence Jr. Crawford has extremely fast and accurate hands, often doubling or tripling up on his jab before firing one of his power punches. Crawford is one of the only guys that creates his own notes, creates his own tunes. His instincts are incredible what makes him an even more difficult opponent is that he looks just as comfortable fighting southpaw as he does boxing orthodox i got one of the best jabs in boxing i throw great body shots as well that said there are times that he becomes the aggressor and can be caught lunging in and not keeping his hands high in protection he has great talent 
great skills, but I feel like my ability, my will, and my, my all around just being the better fighter, I'm going to beat him. Despite being slightly taller than Crawford, Spence will have a 2-inch reach disadvantage that will require him to get on the inside a little more to land his power strikes. I'm just a better fighter overall. I'm, you know, I feel like I'm going to break him. The truth is primarily a southpaw, so if Crawford opens up the same way, he should have a slight advantage on the jab due to the reach and the speed with which he throws it. I'm ready. He ready. We're going to have a fish fry come Saturday. Getting on the inside shouldn't be that difficult, though, as Spence is very aggressive, not giving his opponents a lot of room to breathe as he inches his way in with the jab before winging hooks to the body early and often. I'll be proving each and every one of the doubters wrong once again that Terrence Crawford is the best fighter in the world today. Both guys are vicious fighters, but we expect them to be a little more measured against each other. On what it takes to win fights like this of this magnitude, especially with so much on the line. Spence's desire to move up in weight may lead to exhaustion. Would I be surprised if it ends by knockout? Not at all, because both have great power. Crawford might start slow, but he'll figure Spence out and claim victory. Crawford's win, and if he wins easy, I'll be totally surprised. This showdown is the fight of the decade and could go down in history as one of the greatest battles.